When I first really started becoming a, a, a practicing friend and, and working on, uh, on being a friend, prayer was something, it was a word that was not comfortable to me. It was a word that made me kind of stiffen up and cringe. Um, although I'm a birthright friend, I actually grew up in the Unitarian Church and nobody said prayer. And so to me, I had this picture of, uh, you know, people getting on their knees or praying like this or using rote liturgy that doesn't speak to me. Um, but through my experience, through, um, through friends, it has become um, a way of being. So I feel that for me, prayer can take many forms. Sometimes it's a time of centering and stillness, of um, becoming aware of my breath and then just letting go of the um, worries and the thoughts. It's different than meditating for me. It's listening. It's being still and, and waiting, waiting for um, the word, waiting for a message, and it may, it often is not a message in words. It's a very deep experience. I have a prayer that I say that really helps me if I'm in a, a difficult spot or in a challenging situation and I just say it to myself um, in, inside, <laughs> quietly, um, and it's, uh, God, help me to see myself as you see me. Help me to know myself as you know me. Help me to love myself as you love me. And then more recently, I've added, help me to forgive myself as you forgive me. And I find that if I'm angry or upset, that allows me to just center down and move through those feelings, acknowledge them, and move on to whatever is my work at the moment. And um, sometimes when I've heard that prayer, I said, you know, when I first heard it, I thought, that sounds like such a selfish prayer. <laughs> And, and yet at the same time, I know that um, the way God works in our world is through each of us. And if I am going to allow God to work through me and to work through my hands and my words, then I need to get myself out of the way and allow God to be there. And, and that prayer helps me do that.